All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go show you guys how to fix AI skin. And by AI skin, I mean when the skin is a bit too smooth, a little plasticky, which is a common problem with AI pictures. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is using this site called photop.com. So it's free. It's like free Photoshop on the internet. So let's start with a picture that I saved. All right, so here's a pic I made with AI. So it's already pretty good, to be honest. Like, you, I could probably just use it, but it does look a bit too, like, perfect, you know? Like, it's done with a pro photo shoot, which isn't bad, but I personally wouldn't use all pictures like this for an online dating profile because it just looks kind of like try hard, right? But maybe a couple of these kinds of pics are fine, but. Yeah, with this pic, as you can see, the skin is like, like a very perfect. Granted, I do have pretty good skin, but like, if we wanted to just add a bit more kind of texture or noise to it, we could do it easily in Photopea. So what we do is there's a setting at the top that says filter. And so you click that, you click sharpen and you click smart sharpen. And then when you do that, make sure this background layer is selected because if it's not it's not going to do anything so you need to click that and then yeah go to filter sharpen smart sharpen all right so the default setting is 150 percent with radius one pixel so i usually don't touch the radius but i play with this percentage a bit so as you can see it just got like a lot sharper a lot more defined realistic maybe a bit too much so here's the before you can see here's the after. So I think I would just like turn this down a little bit. So let's just say to like 125. So yeah, before, after, for, after. So it's kind of subtle, but you can see that, you know, it looks a bit more realistic or at least not as smooth. I would actually turn it down a bit more to like 100. So let's check it out before, after. So I, yeah, I think that's a good balance between you know having some texture but also not being like too smooth so yeah that's method number one to fixing ai skin it's pretty simple right and then you know once you're done you hit file on the top left export as and then you know just like png save to your computer and then you know you can just like send to your phone or whatever if you are using it for dating apps or if you're using it for some other use case then do whatever all right so the second thing we're going to do is we're going to use this site called Picasso.ai. So if you don't have an account here, obviously you just make one. So that would look like this. You just start creating and then, you know, sign in and then you can just make an account with Google or, you know, email. All right. So let's just say you make an account. Another thing you need to do is you need to top up your account because this site is paid but it's not that expensive so i would just go with the cheapest option here which is six bucks so 50 gems right one time to fix the skin in a picture is three to four gems so it's like three gems if you're doing like two megapixel resolution which is like a lower image resolution which i recommend for dating app pics because four megapixels it just means a higher resolution which means it looks like more you know like hd and super nice but yeah if you wanted to do that for some other use case you could do that and it would cost four gems but let's just assume you're doing the two megapixel and it's three gems so at 50 gems for six bucks that means 50 divided by uh, three is you could use the skin upscaler or like skin fixer 16 times which probably is more than enough if you're trying to fix the ai skin for dating app pics and then yeah if you need more you could always top up there's no benefit to buying more at once you know what i mean there's no like bulk discount so you might as well just go with the cheap option all right so let's just say you made an account you topped up six bucks right aka however many gems that is 50 gems right what you want to do next is you come here to the skin upscaler on the left 
And then if you remember my last vid called Photoshop on steroids, how I use AI to edit dating app pics, which was an explanation of how to use the new AI image editor called Flux Context. I like edited some pic and then I like upscaled it basically because, you know, like the image quality got reduced a lot after using the Flux Context image editor. And then I upscaled it to make the, the resolution higher, image quality higher. But then that made the problem where like the skin was like a bit too smooth. So we're gonna take the pic from that video and we're gonna fix the skin in this video, right? All right, so yeah, we're in the skin upscaler and then we just wanna drag and drop the image that I just mentioned here. All right, so you know here it is. And then you want to turn on advanced parameters because you want to adjust the strength. So I would say up to 0.2 is fine. Once you start going past 0.2, I find that it starts changing the faces and stuff, which you don't want. Like if it was like you're changing the faces of someone that isn't you, I wouldn't care if the faces of these girls change because like, you know, they, at the end of the day, they're AI, right? But, you know, obviously if I'm using this picture for like a dating app profile, I don't want my face to change. So... I try to keep the strength from 0.1 to 0.2, but you can play around with it. And then yeah, resolution, I'm gonna keep at two. Uh, region focus, I'm gonna do face body because like the body is also very smooth. So yeah, set the settings and hit start. All right, so we're back. Let's check the before and then after. As you can see, minus this girl's teeth getting all fucked up. The skin went from being very smooth, as you can see here, to looking more realistic. Same with my face here. You know, it was like super smooth, and then now it's like a little more texture, noise, realistic realism. And then same here, just gotta fix this girl's teeth, which is not a big deal. We could just do that with like in-painting or Photoshop or something. And by in-painting, I mean from my video called Three Best AI Tools for Dating Apps. So if you go in here and then go to the section called Tool 1, you'll see what I mean. And then just for shits, right, I took a more like cartoonish looking ad pick, totally unrealistic, and tested to see if the skin upscaler could fix it, right? So... Here I set the strength of the upscaler to 0.5 because obviously this pick is like super not realistic. All right, so let's look at it here, right? Preview. Oh, shit. So this is the before and it does look like me, just like a cartoon version of me, right? And then let's check the after. So yeah, not only is it not more realistic, but it just like changed my face completely. I went from looking like this like like Asian, which I am, to like, I don't know, maybe like mixed race or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, it didn't really fix the skin that much and my face changed, so point being like, your pig should look somewhat realistic, right? To use this skin upscaler and even the thing I showed before with the photo P. But yeah, it shouldn't really be an issue though, cause like, you know, if you know how to make someone real, somewhat realistic pics like I do, like the one I showed earlier in the vid. Yeah, so to just show it again, I'm talking about this picture. So yeah, if you know how to make realistic pics like this one, right? Like it shouldn't be an issue in terms of having a pic that's realistic enough to run through a skin upscaler or use Smart Sharpen on Photo P4. And yeah, if you wanna know how to make pics like this one, check the pinned comment. But yeah, also like AI tech, it's really good these days and only getting better. So maybe one day we, we won't even have to like fix the AI skin, right? Cause you know, it'll just be good enough as is. But yeah, if you know how to make good pics like I do, like realistically this one doesn't really need any like fixing of the skin, but sometimes you will need that. So hopefully this video helped with that. But yeah, that's the vid, right? On how to fix AI skin. If you like the vid, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I will see you all next time.